ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lady Lake Plays. This is, as you can see in the Stanley Parable, demonstration. Because I just thought I could play it quickly and we'll see how well we do. And if you like it, then I will carry on playing it. So yeah, let's play the game. Welcome to the Stanley Parable Demonstration. Your number is 28. When your number is displayed, please enter the demonstration room. Thank you, and have a pleasant demonstration. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Stanley Parable live demonstration. It will be my pleasure to guide you through this sneak peek at what to expect in the Stanley Parable. A tease. Just enough to leave you hungry for more. How exciting. Can't you just feel that nervous tension? The looming uncertainty? Why don't we drink in the anticipation for a moment, just for 20 minutes or so? Please, for just 20 minutes, don't move or act in any way. Simply remain motionless and let the thrill of demoing the Stanley Parable wash over you. I'm very good at writing. I'm British. <laughs> really? This is what you want me to do? Is to stand still? Oh wait, I've got it. You know what would really ramp up the anticipation? If I gave you a little tour of the facility and show you how we make video game demonstrations, yes, you'll be simply out of your mind with anxiety. Come along this way. Okay. This is where I and the other proctors have been working meticulously to construct a demo that explains clearly and concisely exactly what the Stanley Parable is, how it plays, and why you should spend real-world money on the main game. Video game demonstrations are tricky, and without the proper technology, you run the risk of the player having no idea what to expect in the full version. Here is one such technology. These buttons are meant to convey the meaning of choice and the impact of the decisions you make. After all, choices carry tremendous meaning and consequence. Didn't you know that? Being Go ahead. Threatening 
Why don't you try picking one of these buttons to press and we'll see what your choice says about you. How fascinating. Did you know that 94% of all people who select that particular button are sexual predators? You see, our choices really do illuminate the very intangible nature of our minds and souls. Pervert. Okay, what else can I show you then? This place is the buffalo of game design. Nothing is wasted. This device tells you whether or not you're inside a video game demonstration. Somewhere around here there's also a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a device that tells you whether or not you're inside a video game demonstration. Nothing, to know. Nothing in this room will kill you. One of the most important parts of administering any demonstration is pumping up your ego and appealing to insecurities about your sense of self-worth. That's why we use this room to develop cheap compliments to shower on the player during the demo. Go ahead and press that button to see some of the superficial flattery we've been cooking up. My heavens, I've never met someone who can consume as much uranium in a single sitting as you can. Just look at you go. Of all the people I know who are playing this exact demo at this exact moment and standing in this exact room, your performance is easily in the top 5,000. Top 4,700 even. I won't go as far as 4,600. Okay, one more time. Hmm, uh, let's see. Oh, this is embarrassing. I really can't think of anything else to say. Uh, no, no, you've really exhausted my list of compliments. Goodness, that was fast. Either you or this department has a lot of room for improvement. Okay then, what's next? Now here's what we use to convey story. These booths convert text from a story into raw emotion. Go ahead, step into one of them and feel the sheer power of narrative exposition. Now, now, we have to save at least a few emotions for the full game. The shame he carried, that ocean breeze did drift. The fierceness of the tides, the inevitable collapse of the... Where did these cliffs go? These crags that we stood upon, they shielded us from our own ignorance, spoke coddling words and wrapped our vulnerabilities in a woolen cloth. You went in both booths? Oh, how vulnerable of you. If at any point during the demo you need to cry, just let me know and we can take a minute. Now, I think you'll find this exciting. We've actually developed a wall that you can walk through. Go ahead, give it a shot. I bet you're lying to me, aren't you? Not oh, hmm, guess it's still in development. Right, okay, moving along.
How's the anticipation? Still feeling it? And there you have it. Everything you need to know about how video game demos are made. Wow. However, it's short. still important that we address safety concerns. Please closely observe the following possible negative side effects of playing the Stanley Parable. If you agree to be held 100% responsible for any and all injury or long-term damage, mental, physical or otherwise, that may occur while playing the demo, please do not Press the large red glowing disagree button at this time. Nothing? No objections? No You're quite button. sure about that? Oh. Button. Well, all right then. In the event that you do experience one or all of the previously listed symptoms, let's establish a signal for you to convey to me that you wish the demonstration to be terminated. Please step into the dance perimeter. Please perform a dance. Your dance has been recorded. In the event that you feel confused or disoriented by anything you see inside the demo, perform that dance and I will terminate the demo immediately. Okay. Right. All preparations have been made. It is time at last. Are you prepared for the Stanley Parable? a demonstration of it. So what was that I just did then? Okay. Here we go. Hang on a minute. Oh wait, what what are we doing Welcome here? Welcome to did the Stanley Parable demonstration. Your number is twenty nine. When your number is displayed, please enter the demonstration room. Thank you, and have a pleasant demonstration. Right. So you're just going to get me to start all over again. Oh. Okay, uh, I'm lost. Let's just lost. get back to the green room and start the demo again. I must have done something wrong the first time. Okay, here we go. The Stanley Parable Demo Take 2. Finding the demo, learning exactly what the Stanley Parable is. <laughs> here it comes. Okay. Are you sure this time? <gasps> oh, wait. What's this? I don't know. The big threatening red eight. Do you want me to push it? Eight. <laughs> it's my little favourite number. Eight. Wait, 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 wait. Eight. It's this is all wrong. Eight. This isn't the Stanley Parable. This is a game where you press a button and it says eight. Not only is the Stanley Parable not a game about continuously pressing the number eight, I can guarantee that this button does not appear anywhere in the main game. Why is it here instead of the demo for the Stanley Parable? Where did the demo go? There was an actual demo here before. Something has gone wrong. It's all gone horribly wrong. We need to get you out of here before you start forming impressions of the Stanley Parable based on whatever the hell this eight game is. We need to get out. We need to start over. Eight. You mustn't stay here eight. another minute. Out, eight. out, out. Go, go, eight. go. Eight. 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 Now, I think perhaps you've misunderstood me, so let me reiterate as clearly as I can. This is not the Stanley Parable. Eight. What you are doing is pushing a button over and over that does nothing but speak the word eight. Has that gotten through? Eight. You may be continuing to press this button under the impression you're playing the Stanley Parable right now. An assumption that is, I should remind you again, entirely erroneous. Okay, join me next time when we'll carry on trying to find the demo. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.